All right, what do we got? We got an amalgam filling, amalgam fillings. We just don't really use as much anymore. Almost actually never. We don't do it at all at our office. Zero, not once. But there are some small advantages. You know, they're not as sensitive to all the moisture and stuff that happens when you're making the fillings. But this patient or this dentist rather is pushing down really hard, packing the amalgam really in that preparation. But we don't use amalgam as much. Why? Because it is an amalgam of different type of chemicals. One of them being mercury and people are definitely terrified of mercury and I totally understand why. Um, because those vapors can cause some serious damage. Now, the ADA states that there is really no link between these amalgam fillings and the vapors and anything that's going on health wise and amalgam fillings have been used for over 150 years. But I can understand why people do not want this there in their mouth. Number one, I just don't think it looks as aesthetic, but you can make some pretty darn big fillings. This one's pretty big with amalgam and they can last in a long time. Secrets. I have two amalgam fillings in my top teeth that have been there since I was probably six or seven years old and they are still going strong. They look great. I did have my bottom ones replaced because they're leaking a little and I didn't like the look of it. So if you have a filling like this and it looks a little dark, around the sides, around the corners, that may mean it's starting to fail. But this one's starting to look a little bit better. They're really packing it down. The more you pack down these amalgam fillings, the better. It really gets into those little areas where there's these little grooves and it can get sucked in there. So this is different than a composite filling. The composite or the clear fillings bond to the sides of the teeth, whereas this one's more of like a mechanical retention. So you really got to get in there. You have to do these things called undercuts to get the amalgam in there so it doesn't just pop off. So they're cleaning it up. They're actually going to shine it up pretty good. I don't know. I just don't like the look of these. What do you guys think? Do you like the look of these? So they're going to keep making it, keep shaping it up to make it as close to as tooth as possible. They're probably going to shave off some of the edges, kind of push down, push down. Look at all the scraping that's going on there as well. So it's almost done. They're going to take away some of the stuff on the edges. You know, the amalgam fillings, when you first put them in there, you're just packing all the stuff in. Like you could see at the start, they're packing in, packing in, packing in. And then you really have to take away any of the excess. So when they're doing this, they have to be super careful that they don't obviously leave any excess in a patient's mouth. Nowadays, we have something called an amalgam separator. I think it's federally mandated. Everybody needs to do this. So when you're taking off these amalgam fillings, they got, they get put in like this little jar that we have to put in this specific area. We don't just put it down the drain because we don't all these, want all these mercury fillings going down the drain. So they're going to continue to do this, but this is the general overview of an amalgam filling.